this cold December day, we are on our merry way. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is really exciting because we are heading over to my sister Lindy's house to decorate for Christmas. I was so excited when I asked her to do this and she said yes because she just moved into this house. She's got a very pretty clean slate, white kitchen, and I was like, I just wanna take everything down, wipe everything down with some peppermint spray and start with a fresh slate. So that's what we're gonna do here in just a second. But I did wanna thank Costway for sending some stuff over for her house so that we can do this project today. Lots and lots of beautiful pieces. This one is going in her entry Way. as you come in from the garage lots of storage and it's just such a beautiful piece costway has so many beautiful pieces for very affordable prices and today if you're watching this on the day that i upload it's black friday and they're having lots of really great sales so go check out all of the things that they have for your home if you want to get a christmas present for somebody this is a great piece i actually want this for myself <laughs> so i may have to get one for me but anyways back to the kitchen we're going to wipe everything down with some peppermint spray get everything back to a clean slate but i'll give you a little background on my sister she is a mom of two and she is the boss at her job so she's very busy doesn't have a whole lot of time to spend on her home so I was super excited to do this for her she actually did some Christmas decorating in her living room and throughout the rest of her house but we're gonna go through next week and kind of change some things up add some things so we're gonna have a part two to this video but anyways back to Lindy she loves the I would say she's a true farmhouse style mixed with a little bit of traditional she is a little bit shabby chic sometimes I have a hard time figuring out her style in her home she collects a lot of stuff and I'm the opposite I always like to throw things away and so whenever I go into her space I get kind of overwhelmed because she is a collector she's a crafter she's very artsy and so anyways that's how we are different it's gonna be really funny when you see her reaction at the end you will see just how different we are when it comes to the way we have our home but anyway she loved the way that it turned out and I did tell her to go ahead and put her own personal touches on it with whatever she wants to add so she did do that but how cute is this little rag I picked that up from Dollar General and I got one for my house too such a cute little Christmas rag I always like to go in and wipe everything down with a seasonal scent in whatever space I'm working in. So I'm taking the Mrs. Meyers peppermint spray and wiping everything down, giving everything a really fresh smell in here. And I'm wiping down her appliances with some spray way and just putting all of the magnets on the side of the fridge to make it look a little bit more clean in that area. Her appliances are actually brand new, so they all had that protective film on them still and she didn't tear it off so I wasn't going to do that but that's why they have a little bit of a smear to them but we're going to wipe them down anyways get everything nice and clean and then we're going to go in with the decorations I wanted to start out with her window because she has the cutest little window above her sink and I've always dreamed of having that in my own kitchen and as y'all know my sink is right in the middle of our kitchen no window above it so we're going to start with that window and add some garland and lights and bows and we're going to deck out this little space by her sink it's time to take a stand with our eyes open wide. And it might bring out the very best of you. Oh, it's time! She told me she loves flocked garland rather than regular, which I was a fan of because y'all know I love my flocked garland and flocked trees. So we're actually going to go in her living room next week and switch out her regular Christmas tree for a flocked one. And we're going to decorate that. When it comes to Christmas, she decorates with red and green and gold, but she also loves that mint green color. It's like a mixture between mint green and sage green. Really calm, 
nice like shabby chic green color i've always thought of her as shabby chic but then sometimes she surprises me with her style but anyways we're gonna try to add some of that in next week too but i feel like by the time i get done with this kitchen today y'all are gonna be like wow this looks really similar to your kitchen because that's just how i am i love red at christmas so we're gonna be adding lots of red but i did consider her when doing this little window here i added a white creamy bow instead of red if it was my house i probably would have added red but anyways, we're going to add some little cream sparkly bows, and then we're going to go back in later and add some Christmas ornaments. And I love the way that this little garland turned out. So I know y'all know a lot about my family, my husband, my little boy, but when it comes to my family that I grew up with, I have four siblings. I have two brothers and two sisters, and we are all so different. It's so funny. How pretty are those bows? I love the way those bones turned out. They're so dainty. But anyways, I was going to tell y'all a little about my family because my oldest brother, Tyler, is living on a farm in Arkansas right now. He likes to raise animals. He's all about that barn life, and he's married to a really sweet girl named Kirsty. Y'all might know who she is. She has a YouTube channel. She does cooking on her YouTube channel and farm-to-table meals, things like that. I will link her channel below in case you don't already follow her. But Lindy also actually had a YouTube channel at one point because her and her family liked to vlog on vacation. And so they would do vlogs in like Destin and wherever they were traveling that year. Um, and it's funny because she never really stayed with her YouTube channel, but one of her videos recently went viral. <laughs> I think it was the one where she vlogged in Destin, Florida. But anyways, my oldest brother, he likes to work out on the farm and then my second to oldest sibling Lacey she has been a stay-at-home mom her whole life and then just recently decided she wants to be in the medical field so she started working in a doctor's office and I believe she's going to school to be a nurse she hasn't totally decided what she's doing but she's raised two really sweet boys and then she adopted two really sweet girls so she's got four kids and then the next sibling down is Lindy who I'm decorating her house today and she's always been the fun outgoing cheerleader wants to talk to everybody has a million friends and then you have me, who is, like, I never really did any sports or cheerleading or anything like that in school. Uh, I was in journalism, and I had a very small circle of friends, and I've always loved decorating and staying home. I'm a homebody. And then my littlest brother, Asa, is a musician. He wants to be a pastor. So... That's a little bit about my family. My mom and dad are ministers. My dad's a pastor. My mom's actually a teacher, and actually my dad is too. They both have their teaching license, but for the past, I believe, like seven or eight years, they've been just pastors at our little church in our town. So that's a little bit about us, but let's continue decorating Lindy's little kitchen. We've got some red bows on her canisters, and we're gonna decorate this little coffee area. The second I opened up the chocolate, all of the kids were like, me, me, me. So I was throwing chocolate at all of them. But if you missed my last Christmas decorating video, I told you all about how yummy it is to put a Lindor chocolate in your coffee in the morning. It makes it taste like a Starbucks mocha. So delicious. And as you saw a few minutes ago, I put those big gold presents on top of her cabinets. They're beautiful. They light up. But I took them down for now because I want to add some garland to the top of her cabinets. And that will be in next week's video. I need to go to the store and grab a few more things. But those presents are so pretty and they are also from Costway. But now we are headed over here to the window. I'm going to add some red Christmas ornaments. Santa, the city is covered in snow tonight. Where did my love go? Santa, I'm waiting for him, but he's nowhere in sight. And all of the presents are still by the tree. As I was decorating, I was actually using all of the Christmas decor that I am trying to get rid of at my house. I had like three bins of stuff that I just gave her because every year I pull it out and I'm overwhelmed by the amount of stuff there is and I haven't used some of this stuff in years. So brought it over to her house and it's so pretty in her little space, but I think as I go um, in next week's video, I'm going to add more of that mint green color to make it more of like a Lindy style. She would have probably a little bit more cream mixed in more of like a shabby chic feel rather than this red chic 
look. But anyways, I love the way the window turned out. It's so pretty. I'm just going to add some candlesticks to this side for some height and for a pop of color. I'm going to add a Christmas soap here in a little while, but I love the way that this area turned out for Christmas. It's so cozy. Lindy actually purchased this and that's more of her style, really toned down green, a little bit of red, not much, but we're going to add a little candle over here to her oven and those little gift boxes are salt and pepper shakers. Those are hers and I thought those were so cute. And here for the middle, I went to Home Goods to try to find her a really fun Christmas runner and they were sold out at the one I went to. So I'm still going to be on the hunt for that. I went ahead and brought over my everyday kitchen runner and I'm going to put it in her kitchen because I feel like her runner that she had in here was too small. And honestly, this one feels a little small too. I want to get her a really nice runner for this space. But so that you can see what I'm trying to do in here, I went ahead and added this in and I think it looks a lot better. Now these bar stools are from Costway and they are beautiful. They match her stuff so perfectly. She wanted something that was a little bit more toned down because it's right in the middle of a walkway. And I think those are perfect. You like it? <gasps> oh, I love it. Oh! Oh, I love it. Oh, it's so clean. It's. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Your houses are not livable. <laughs> So there you have it. You got her reaction. She was like, this is so clean. And that made me laugh so hard because whenever I was taking everything off her countertops, I was like, she has so much stuff on her countertops. Does she like it like that? Or can I just like help her out a little bit? <laughs> and she likes it like that. So as, as she came in, she was like adding stuff in different places. And I was like, oh dear, we're getting back to the way her kitchen looked before. But hey, it's her kitchen. So she wanted it how she wanted it. And she was adding in stuff over by the coffee bar. She added that little hot cocoa sign and some little stacked books. She pulled her Keurig cups out. And honestly, it looks so cute, the, what she added to it. So I just want her to put her little splash on there because this is her kitchen. She's going to have to be in here cooking for Thanksgiving and Christmas and all of the things. In fact, on this day, she was actually baking pies and cakes for Thanksgiving. And I was over here on the side of the kitchen bringing in her little centerpiece here. I ran to Hobby Lobby, got that really cute little basket plate and this little pot. The pot was on sale for 30 bucks, which I thought was a great deal because it's really big. Got some pine branches. I did something similar in my kitchen. And then these little, the light up branches are from the Target dollar spot. And then I also added in some white sparkly pine cone branches from Hobby Lobby. I'm going to probably tweak this in next week's video to make it a little bit more toned down because it's kind of loud. But I love the way that that kind of filled the space on her bar area. But she was over on the other side of the kitchen cooking and it was so funny because she had a sink full of dishes. And I was like, so what can we do to get rid of these dishes real quick? And she went in with her like both hands, picked up her dishes and brought them into the living room. Just set them on the floor <laughs> so that I could film this little clip. So shout out to Lindy for letting me use her house and film at her house. I think everything turned out really pretty and I'm super excited to get back here next week to do some more in the living room. them bells and frolic oh by gosh some stalling eggnog